Hello everyone, my name is Kelly Covert and you are here with us today for another Symphoria Sponsor Spotlight. And I'm so excited to have our good friend, Mitch Gelman, the president and, C um, the president and CEO of WCNY with us. Thanks Mitch for being here. Hey Kelly, thanks for having me. You're of course. Welcome. How are you doing at home? We're well, we're well. Um, you know, everybody is, uh, everybody is, is healthy, if, if not entirely sane, but uh, I, I guess you could say that in normal times as well. 100%. Before we started recording, Mitch and I were commiserating together about the challenges of um, being the parents of teenage boys during this time. So hopefully we'll get our counters clean someday in the future. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think we're the only parents whose kids have interpreted at-home learning as at-home video game playing. Mm-hmm, 100%. So WCNY is a media sponsor for all of our POPs concerts, and we're so thankful for the support that you have given us. And we're super excited about our live concert, a concert for our times that is happening Saturday evening, May 9th from 8 to 10. And so we thought we would have you on to give you a chance to tell our audience a little bit about what WCNY does in our community. Well, WCNY uh, has five television channels that we distribute, and um, uh, our primary radio station is Classic FM, which is our classical music station for the region. So the alignment with Classic FM, uh, on WCNY, and Symphoria um, is, uh, is perfect. And that's why um, we are playing classical music um, every day. We've made it for at least this period of time a news-free zone. So uh, our usual NPR updates that come in on the hour, you don't have to worry about that anymore. There's plenty of places uh, on your dial to get the news. We just want to create a uh, oasis of calm, provide classical music, and um, have added a couple of special programs, one of which is Diane Jones' um, Classical Companion, in which she's been talking to a number of different uh, musical leaders throughout the region, including um, the conductor uh, Larry Lowe from Symphoria, about the music they turn to in times of stress. And um, that's a wonderful show that um, has been airing a couple of times a week and is available at WCNY.org. Um, through our um, online feed. On the television side, we've been doing something really interesting. We've partnered with the Syracuse City School District to create TV Classroom. Um, this, is, uh, this airs on our Global Connect channel from 8 to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. And it is actual teachers teaching actual classes on a classroom set that we built at WCNY. The day starts with story time. It ends with a virtual field trip. And in between, there's math, science, English language, arts, social studies, music appreciation, um, and other uh, courses that, um, that are being delivered for the K-12 through students, primarily for those who do not have internet access from, from home. There's a, there's a big homework gap uh, in, um, you know, in, in the country, particularly in our region, where many of the, the urban and rural students don't have access to, um, to broadband uh, internet. And this way, the school districts are sending home workbooks so the kids can follow along on television um, and, uh, and stay on top of and in sync with their studies. So those are some of the programs that we're doing, but we're really excited about Saturday night and uh, the concert for our times with Symphoria, the, the idea that you know, people can't go to concert halls or orchestras can't come together shouldn't prevent us from enjoying um, the arts. And uh, particularly um, you know, with the studio, which is sanitized and provides uh, plenty of space for social distancing, we thought it'd be wonderful to get together some of the great soloists and duos um, from Symphoria to come in and uh, perform live. Uh, and we, uh, we can't wait for, uh, for the show. Mm -hmm. And we are so excited too. Um, it's been an interesting couple of weeks because we are putting together a concert that in normal times, maybe we would spend six to nine months on and we've done it in about two weeks. <laughs> and it's been really exciting to work with WCNY and your team there to pull this together. And we hope um, everyone watching will tune in tomorrow night and you can listen on the radio, you can watch online, on Facebook, on YouTube, and you can also watch on your TV. So there's lots of ways 
um, to do that. And I just want to say thank you for all you are doing for the arts in our community and for school children. I mean, it's just amazing what we can do when we have to, isn't it? It is. It is. And uh, we're just, um, we're just happy to be a part of this community and, um, you know, to be able to, uh, you know, honor the first responders, the essential workers um, who are keeping us going and, uh, you know, trying to play our small part in contributing what public media can contribute to uh, provide a, you know, services and um, entertainment and engagement and education that are going to be helpful, uh, you know, during these times. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to um, the concert on Saturday night. Then we're going to be, um, we're going to be doing something Memorial Day weekend. There's an honor flight program that um, many of uh, your viewers and listeners may be familiar with in which veterans um, go down every year to um, Washington, D.C. They fly down uh, World War II, Korean, and Vietnam War veterans and get to visit the memorials in Arlington National Cemetery. The flight was supposed to be May 2nd. They couldn't go. Um, so we're going to do an honor flight for our times in which we're going to recognize them and take them on a video tour on television with their families of um, those memorials. And then the uh, school superintendent called yesterday and said he'd like to, um, he he'd like to give his seniors a prom. So we're going to do a, a prom for our times, a virtual prom on, uh, on, on June 12th, on Friday night from, uh, from, from 7 to 9 p.m. We're, we're still planning that, but um, we think that, uh, that that's something that uh, the kids deserve and uh, we're hopeful we can help um, facilitate for them. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it so much. So finally, Mitch, if you have any um, parting words for all of our Symphoria supporters, what would you say tonight? No, just thank you. Thank you for supporting the arts. Thank you for being uh, patrons and fans um, of the arts. Thank you for sharing your love of classical music with, um, with the rest of us. And um, uh, I hope that when you're not able to attend concerts in person at Symphoria, you're tuning in to listen to uh, Classic FM uh, and uh, on WCNY. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Thank you so much, Mitch, and thank you all for joining in today, and we hope that you will join us for a concert of our times Saturday night, May 9th from 8 to 10 p.m., and then stay tuned after for the post-concert Q&A with Larry and Sean. It's going to be a really great night. Thanks, Kelly. <laughs>